right I'm going to try something and hopefully it works out just in the process of stripping down the bike ready to clean um, this is my current 11 speed uh, rear cassette and I'm going to convert it to a nice little 12 speed um, this is with the ratio um, adapter the ratio technologies 12 speed adapter um, so hopefully hopefully um, we can get it down and done so what I'm going to do is I am going to start stripping this down and first of all see if this cassette will fit in this aperture um, with what gap I have or haven't got and um, hopefully I'll get back to you with an update Right, here we have the cassette on um, it's not yet finely tuned but um, I've yet to do the shifter but the cassette seems to fit in quite quite nicely it just pushes the parameters of the existing Shimano um, so it does fit um, it does go through the gears a bit clunky at the moment like I say because I've got to tune them up it won't obviously go into the large ring because I've not set it up to because obviously the old the old ones were on small ring to the 11, 11th uh, gear and now we've got the 12 so um, next is strip down the shifter and hopefully um, get it working but it's just um, trial and error see how we go uh, yeah fingers crossed wish me luck so I've uh, started to dismantle my lever um, following the ratios uh, technologies video and um, I tried to do it in situ but I had to remove the tape uh, obviously down to here um, currently in the process of removing the screws just got one more screw just in the back just under my thumb there to remove to remove this cover um, but so far so good it's only taken a couple of minutes had to remove the cable um, gear cable but the the brake hydraulic hose can remain in situ which is quite handy so I'll keep digging away and I'll uh, keep you updated see you later so currently my video skills aren't that great to film whilst doing the job but so far it's only been a few minutes and it's going back together quite nice so like I say following what the video says um, it's easy as it looks so far touch wood tap my head okay well catch you in a bit again it's only been a few minutes I managed to get the shift lever back in no troubles um, so the next step is just to put lithium grease on the ratchet itself um, and reassemble um, so it's going well so far so good we'll, um, we'll keep it going and uh, I'll keep you updated and uh, hopefully I'll show you a final video in the next 20 minutes or so take care Well, case is back on. Um, got the full 12 shifts. So, um, so far it's looking good. And that's it. And then there we go, down again. Uh, sold out. Put this bad boy back together and see how we do anyway looking good so far finally all back together um unfortunately i've got no way of really sort of like showing you this but the noise has come from the front it's because the uh, the narrow wide is just for some reason catching um but when it's under load it, you can't hear it at all um, but in regards to the back, all 
be working pretty much as it should. So I'm just about taking a test ride um, in the next couple of days. And I'll give you an update on that one. But um, easy to do, easy to fit. Um, didn't take too long. Um, I suppose the hardest bit really was changing the cassette, I'd say. Um, I would uh, do the the uh, ratchet conversion all day, all day long again. Just make sure you've got the 2.5mm screw, or M2.5 screw, um, to pull the axle out. You should be alright. Anyway, hopefully this has been helpful um, for those that are thinking they might convert uh, to a... Uh, to a 12 speed from SRAM 11 speed um, and it's easy to be done you can get the parts from dare I say AliExpress um, whether it be the sensor or the Zito um, there's various different ones on there just look out for uh, one piece um, this one's 240 200 I think it's 241 grams um, whereas some of the steel ones are in the realms of nearly 400 grams um, but uh, this is a ZTTO or Zito, as they like to be called, from what I gather. Um, and like I say, the sensor is uh, another recommended one. But all I could see was the uh, the oil effect, um, and they're a bit more expensive for some reason. They've shot up in price with all the uh, coverage they're getting. But anyway, hopefully it's been helpful, and um, yeah, safe riding. Bye.